a, a lot of people, Don, still frame autonomy as a threat to drivers. That's always the chatter that I hear. And, and, and how do you respond to that, especially given how dependent this industry still is when it comes to, to human expertise? Yeah, I mean, we would be nowhere without the human expertise and the drivers that we employ and the drivers that we work with at our, our partner fleets all, all over the country. You know, drivers are ultimately the backbone of this industry, and I think they will be for the foreseeable future. You know, I don't really, uh, I don't really subscribe to the notion that this is going to be an all or nothing solution. I think this is going to be a very gradual rollout, and probably more gradual than most people most people assume. And so, you know, there's a there's going to be roles for autonomous trucks to play where drivers are less suitable. I think we can increase safety on, in aggregate, but there's going to be a lot of driving challenges and driving jobs that are not necessarily appropriate for autonomy. In addition to the fact that, you know, we're transitioning a lot of uh, driving capability to remote monitoring, right. uh, to, to more of kind of a behind the desk like job where you don't have to be out on the road all the time. If that's what you want to do, then drivers are still going to have the option to, to drive. There's millions and millions of trucks out there and driving as a, as a profession is not going anywhere anytime soon. 